Apostle Paul writes to the Roman Christians, and this is from chapter 5, he writes, God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God through him. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, will we shall be saved by his life. There's a lot that goes into contemplating uh, why does it take Jesus' death to justify us? Why does it take Jesus' life, his, his, his life poured out as a sacrifice to reconcile us to God? Why, I mean, it's for notorious sinners, you know, Jeffrey Epstein, Adolf Hitler, and now Putin, I guess, would be put into that category. We can say, well, yes, they're obviously bad people, and, uh, and someone would have to die to reconcile them to God. But the Bible says that Jesus died to reconcile you and me to God, too. We just, the truth is, you and I cannot see the offensiveness of our sinfulness in its reality. God sees our sinfulness exactly for what it is. But for us who are damaged, terribly compromised by the very presence of sin in our nature, the corruption of sin in our nature, we can't look at our sins and see why would it take the death of the Son of God to quell the wrath of God against me. Why would it require that? Is it really that bad what I've done? Uh, the biblical answer is yes, it is. It is really that bad. And God's wrath sets out against those who sin against him. So today, just know this, that God has reconciled us to himself. And he's done that through Jesus taking our place to love him with all his heart, with all his soul, with all his mind, with all his strength. Jesus has done that in our place because we are incapable of fulfilling that. Jesus has taken our place and loved his neighbor as he loved himself because you and I are not capable of fulfilling that. And because he has done that, he has reconciled us to the Father forever. He has justified us with the Father forever.